Now that streaming services like Netflix are currently in the country, yes, there is that Netflix for free that people are currently enjoying. And in fact, we are the only country in the world where they are doing this. But if you want to be able to access all of Netflix, then you need to pay some amount. The only way to be able to do this is through your bank card, your debit card or your credit card. And that may not be the easiest way to do it. In this particular video, I want to show you how you can use your M-Pesa to be able to pay for your Netflix. Let's get those credits rolling. The platform that I want to actually show you today is called People. Now, People is a virtual debit card on your phone. You can actually be able to do all this on your phone just a few minutes and you're able to sign up for the card and we can actually pay for the Netflix. This is pretty simple. The thing that actually drew me to them is the fact that I'm able to load onto the card from M-Pesa and the card itself is in the local currency, which is Kenya Shilling. And it's pretty simple. All I just need to do after that is connect onto my Netflix and I pay for my Netflix. So what you're going to see next is the sign up process and then we pay for Netflix. Let's get onto my phone. The first thing that we need to do is to install the app. So check the first link in the description below to be able to download people. Next, you'll open the app and it will welcome you and ask you to be able to start the process of signing up. Allow that use, click on activate account. Then it will ask you to verify your mobile number. That's step number one. Input your phone number and click on send OTP. This is a six digit code that it will actually send to you, which you will fill in in step number two. The OTP takes about five or so seconds to be able to get onto your phone. All you just need to do is input that six digit code and it will take you now to step number three. Step number three is to input your ID front and back. This is simple. Just place it on a flat surface and you will be taking the front and the back of your ID. This is quite intuitive and the thing I liked about doing it on the People app is that it actually picks up your details from the ID itself to go to the next step. Step number four is to take a selfie. So this will just be very simple. Put your face in the oval shape that they have placed on the app itself and click on take picture. Step number five is just to accept the terms and conditions. Kindly just go through them and it will be very simple. Now you have your card ready to use. With our card, now we want to load money on it. So what you will do on the top right, click on add money and then click on M-Pesa. This will take you to the next tab where you'll actually be inputting the amount of money that you want to load onto the account. Remember, you can be able to hold up to 100,000 Kenya shillings on the app itself. It's pretty simple. Click on the edit button and then input the amount of money that you want to transfer from your M-Pesa to the People app. Once you have clicked off, click on load and this will actually take you to your M-Pesa app where you just input your M-Pesa number and your money is loaded straight. So we are back on the app again. Click on close. Once you've clicked on close, just click at the top left where it says cancel and then it will take you to the home page. Here, just do a refresh of the page itself because the amount is now already loaded onto the card. The interesting thing about the people card is that for every single transaction that you do, you'll actually get a thousand points. Of course, I'm hoping that in the future, these points will actually be redeemable for something on the app itself because I think I'm about 60,000 points already. What we are going to do next is now go onto the Netflix app and then be able to pay for Netflix using the people card. We click on the Netflix app and it asks us to update payment. When you do this, 
it will actually redirect you to your phone browser where it will actually ask you to input your card details click on add payment method this is very simple you had your card number on the people app just write it down somewhere so that you can actually be able to fill this in you'll input your name you'll input the card number the expiry date and the three digit code that is on your card as well once you have saved this details you'll be able to actually pay for your netflix once you've input your details, the account will try to automatically pay at the top. Once this is done, because you had already put in money on your card itself, you will have paid for your Netflix. Now, when your Netflix is due, all you will have to do is to go back to the people app and input the amount of money that you need to pay for your Netflix and it will automatically pick from your card. The thing I really love about this is that there's no exchange rate for turning Kenya shillings into dollars. Netflix actually allows for payment in Kenya shillings and that's a simple way that you can be able to pay for Netflix using M-Pesa. In a future video, I'll show you how you can be able to use this people card to pay for food on the food apps or to pay for your transport on the ride hailing apps. See you in the next one.